Reggae Just Extra with Ras Dennis. This is Ras Dennis welcoming you to another episode of Reggae Just Extra. Yes, sir. On today's episode, we shall be talking about Ripton Joseph Hilton, better known as Eka Mouse. He is well known for pioneering his own style of scatting, differing from the then toasting DJs in the 80s. Please listen to this. That's Eka Mouse for you, but is he truly a gangster or how controversial is he? Before we find out, please do click on the subscribe button, like and hit the notification bell to keep you updated on our latest video. Born in Kingston, Jamaica, Eka Mouse began his music career when he was in college, releasing two roots reggae singles under his own name, which were produced by his mathematics tutor, Mr. Dehani. These early works were influenced by the music of Pablo Moses. He then went on to work for various sound systems over the next few years, and also released a few more singles. He adopted the stage name Eka Mouse in 1979, taking the name of a racehorse he always bet on. It was a nickname his friends had used for some time. He began recording for Joe Gibbs in 1979, having a hit straight away with Once a Virgin, now showing the influence of ranking Joe, and this was soon followed with Wadu Dem, produced by Douglas Booth, and Modeling Queen, which began an association with Linval Thompson, who produced his debut Bubble Up You Hip album. By the end of 1980, he had linked up with producer Henry Junjo Laws, with whom he had big hits in 1981 with the likes of Virgin Girl and a recut Wadu Dim. In 1981, he was the star of the Reggae Sunsplash Festival, cheering audiences still mourning over the death of reggae icon Bob Marley. His association with Laws led to a string of successful singles and albums, and in 1982 his hits included Wild Like a Tiger, For Hire and Removal, Do You Remember, and Ganja Smuggling. The same year he released his second album, Wadu Democratic. The Operation Eradication single showed Hilton's serious side, the song inspired by the vigilante killing of close friend and fellow DJ Errol Shorter. Ski Dip was released before the year was out. Further albums followed with 1983 Mouse and the Man, produced by Linval Thompson, and 1984 Mouseketeer, again produced by Laws. He also featured on several of the live dance hall albums from the era, including the Aces International and Live at Skateland Collections. In the second half of the decade his popularity began to wane slightly and he targeted the United States with the Assassinator album in 1985, his first US release, produced by Anthony and Ronald Welch. He also traveled to the United Kingdom to record The King and I the same year, the album targeted at the rock crossover audience to which he had begun to appeal. His 1988 album Economics saw him begin to establish himself with an international audience, spawning a club hit with The Freak, and he was signed by Island Records in 1989. He returned to prominence with 1991's unique album, which continued the rock-oriented style, including a cover version of Led Zeppelin's The Year Macker, and from which the hit single You're the One I Need was taken. He went through a period of relative quietness before returning in 1996 with the Black Cowboy album. He also has a performance in the 1991 gangster movie New Jack City playing a drug-dealing Rastafarian named Fat Smitty. That same year, he also had a performance in Out for Justice playing a chauffeur of a pimp. Eka Mouse is a regular at Sunsplash and often teams up with reggae duo Michigan and Smiley. An album was issued of his performance in 1983. He performed in Jamaica for the first time in eight years in August 2015 at the Marcus Garvey Festival in Ocho Rios. He was also featured on new metal group P.O.D.'s album Satellite, lending his vocals to the rock reggae track Ridiculous. He can also be heard on OPM's album, For the Masses, on the track Perfect Day. 
Ica Mouse recorded a song with hip-hop recording artist Ditch, called Smoke It Up, 2007, released in 2009, which is featured on Ditch's CD Public Intoxication. The song by Ditch and Ica Mouse is featured on the Jack Hearer documentary as well. Has as well teamed up with Bounty Killer and Damian Marley in Khaki Suit. On August 16, 2008, Ica Mouse was arrested on charges of rape and narcotic possession. He fled the United States and an arrest warrant with a million dollar bond was issued. These charges were filed in Dare County, North Carolina after a performance at the Port O'Call restaurant. He failed to appear at the first hearing and was given a failure to appear charge and his bond was set at $1,375,000. On November 21, 2012, Ica Mouse was found in Paraguay without a proper visa and was extradited to the U.S. He was initially charged with felony rape, felony kidnapping, felony cocaine charges, and misdemeanor relating to possession of marijuana. In July 2013, he was released after a plea agreement, having pleaded no contest to misdemeanor charges for assault on a female and attempted crime against nature, with his time already spent in jail covering his sentence. Thanks for watching and kindly leave your thoughts in the comment section down below and I'll see you again very soon for another video. However until we meet again, please subscribe, like and hit the notification bell to keep you updated on our latest video. Much effort is made to ensure all materials and reggae gist extras videos fall within the guidelines of fair use. No copyright infringement is intended. If you are or represent the copyright owner of any materials accidentally used in this video and have an issue with its use, please contact me, Ras Dennis, and I will respond as soon as possible. Many thanks for watching Reggae Just Extra with Ras Dennis. Oh.